As the final whistle sounded at Ibrox last Thursday and Rangers booked their place in the Europa League final, fans of the Ibrox club, like Lewis here, started booking their travel. It's a game no supporter wants to miss and many of them are going to extreme lengths to get to Seville. We are going to finish work on Monday, drive straight to Stansted. Um, Stansted, we leave early morning um, to go to Faro in Portugal where one of our friends is picking us up in a motorhome um, which will take us to Seville and that will probably be our accommodation as well. <laughs> So what are the options for fans looking to make it to Spain? Well, you could drive. The more than 1,700 mile journey, though, will take you 28 hours. You could fly if you're lucky enough to find a flight. Glasgow to Malaga takes three hours with a two and a half hour coach trip at the other end. Or for the really brave, you could take the train. It's just the 32 hours and five service changes for that one. For fans further afield, like Robert, who lives in Australia, not even 25 hours of travel was going to stop him from making the game. I went out for about, about 10 seconds, and then I went, nah, I've got to go. I've got to, I've, I've got to make it there, because uh, it's... And, then, and I know trying to get a ticket is going to be in, near impossible and that, but just to be there, and, and it would be so special and all that, and we all the fellow Rangers fans and that, it's going to be amazing. Meanwhile, closer to home, travel agents say they've been inundated with requests. The demand is increasing day by day. We have been very busy chartering flights, as you know, but also selling package holidays to the Algarve, to Costa del Sol, and now, uh, due to availability starting to dwindle in those surrounding areas, people are branching off to the likes of Alicante um, and other areas of Spain. If Rangers fans' dreams come true and they win the Europa League, the celebrations could continue back home, with Glasgow City Council in talks about an open-top bus parade for the team. Ollie Dickinson, STV News.